Breaking news, my wonderful people. After OB's wonderful uh, campaign and all that happened in Lagos State, APC Presidential Council has now accused OB of using of using uh, you know Tinubu's. So this is what is happening right about now, and we all just have to look at this. They said uh, our very own brother uh, Peter OB is using uh, the elder brother. Tinubu's, uh, you know, uh, some of his uh, fantastic things is using it for his own, uh, you know, his own personal work that is using it for his own. Uh, that was what he was using. Okay. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. APC Presidential Campaign Council accuses Obi of riding on Tinubu's chest to campaign in Lagos. The All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Council has accused Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, of running away from his Anambra and Southeast home stead to stage campaign in Lagos because of the alleged iniquities he committed during his time as Anambra State Governor. APC Presidential Council also said that Ubi has now become one who wants to claim what Tinubu did in Lagos State. The All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Council has accused Peter Ruby of the Labour Party of running away from Anambra to Lagos because he wants to use Tinubu, he wants to ride on Tinubu's success. The APC Presidential Council also said that Obi has become panicky in the fear of Bola Ahmed Tinubu's favorite emergence as the next president of Nigeria. The Tinubu campaign team precisely accused Obi of bad leadership in Anambra with high insecurity, political intolerance and rebellion, lack of popularity resulting in failure to conduct council elections and support failures in other spheres of leadership as governor. Southeast spokesman of the Tinubu Campaign Council, Dr. Dr. Jaffrell, said the Obi Lagos rally was devoid of practical participation of his media, media warriors, stating that the only achievement Obi recorded in Anambra State was a track of alcoholic establishment in the state. He said in a statement that available to Guardian, record that Obi succeeded Willie. Swilly stated that he met high level of insecurity, intolerance in Obi state. And this is why Obi ran away from his state to come and have his grand finale campaign rally in Lagos. Yet Tinubu has made Lagos State a very wonderful place for all to be. Obi should go back to his state and see if he will be welcome, he said. So this is what is happening. Um, APC has come up to accuse Obi, saying that um, Obi, you know, did not uh, achieve much in his state. Okay? And that's why he came to use Lagos State as a grand finale. Well, I don't know about that, but every single one of us must know that we are part and parcel of what happens going forward and so we cannot afford to make a mistake in our choice of who becomes nigerians uh president we cannot afford to make a mistake in those regards every single one of us must act accordingly okay every single one of us must act accordingly and ensure that at the end of the day we do that which is necessary needed to move our nation forward the issue and everything that is going on right now what is on ground goes ahead to tell us that unless you know, as a people, as a nation, we do not allow the same thing to happen again. We may not be able to get the kind of Nigeria that we desire because some persons will want to take advantage of us. Okay? They want to take advantage of us as a people and may want to, you know, just, just ride on us and think that they can get away with it. So you and I are the ones to say, no, you can't do that. You can't put sands on my eyes and expect that I will keep quiet, watch you, and do nothing. So these are reality of our time. It's a part of the things that are going on, you know, and everybody needs to understand that unless we do something different, 
yeah, we, we make up our minds to ensure that the difference we have a sage come to pass, you know, will it it's it's it will it will affect us all. And nobody should sit back there and think that everything is going to fall in place if we do not rise up to it and ensure that we we make a difference in all that is happening today. Mm. You and I are in this together. And you and I must make sure that we rise up to it, yes? So whether you like it or not, these are very, very, you know, the presidential council, um, old Naira notes and all that. It's just a very, very, you know, dicey moment at this point in time. And the truth of the matter is whether you like it or not, Nigerians, we cannot afford to allow them keep choosing and picking for us. We have to pick these things ourselves. We cannot allow the same people. We can't allow them. One of the things you don't know they do is that they want to take advantage of, you know, of, of um, Nigerians and, you know, ride on that. So much so that Nigerians are now the receiving end, have nowhere to go, seem to be, you know, in a very, uh, in a position where they cannot even lift their head. Those things have to be eradicated and done away with. Okay, so we just need to rise up together and ensure that at the end of the day, Nigerians will take a stand. I mean, how can a nation, you are planning to have uh, the Naira redesign, you don't have enough currency. At least you will have, you have an idea of what goes on in the country. How come we don't have enough currency to settle the problem so much so that there is so much calamity? People have money, they cannot even assess their money because those who are supposed to do their job are not doing it properly. How does that work? How does it work? Only Nigeria people do the wrong thing with confidence and they get away with it. There is no repercussion regarding what they are doing. So it is important that we sort out this issue once and for all, you know. So Nigerians, it's time we rise up. Yeah, it's time for rising up. It's time for ensuring that things are done decently and in order and this nation become a better place, not just for one, but for all. If we don't do it, nobody will do it for us. Don't forget that politicians at the end of the day are working out and are looking out for things that works for them. Okay, if you think you are part of those who they are considering in making very, you know, decision that, that consigns us, that borders around us. We have to make that decision by picking those people that have our interest at heart. So leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. From us, it's bye for now.